All right, this is going to be an in-depth rogue lineage guide. I'm going to be going over a lot of stuff. I'm going to be going over, like, a lot. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's probably going to be split into two videos, probably. I hope I don't have to cut it in half, but there's going to be multiple segments I'm going to be talking about. Uh, unlocking your mana, what class you should go. I mean, I, this is a lot of stuff I have to talk about. Picking your class, farming cash, buying armor where you get tomes. Uh, sword skills, class skills. I'm gonna be going over a lot of stuff. But, alright. Without further ado, we're gonna jump into the video because I don't wanna waste any more time. Alright, the first thing you wanna do when you get into our lineage is unlocking your mana. When you first join the game, you're not gonna have the bar right here this right here is your mana bar when you first join rogue lineage you're not going to have it to unlock your mana what you're going to want to do is you want to get someone to use a curse spell on you a curse spell on you meaning like ignis or something which is like a flamethrower move ignis can uh, unlock your mana or if you want to unlock your mana fast i mean actually no that's that's probably the best way to unlock your mana get one of your friends or someone to unlock your mana for you by using ignis or you can go to the discord and they're, they have a little text channel where you can just ask people to unlock your mana or, or something. It's in the Rogue Lineage Discord chat, but yeah. Once you unlock your mana, there's multiple things that you can do for, do with it. When you first unlock your mana, you're going to have to press G to charge it, and it'll go up like this. It's not going to go up this fast because you have to train your mana. When you first get your mana, the first skill you get with your mana is Mana Run, which is this right here. To train your mana, what you want to do is just keep holding G, letting it go up, and then letting it go down. So literally just keep doing that over and over until you unlock mana run and once you get mana run which is this skill right here it helps you like chase people faster and as you train your mana your mana will go up faster your mana bar it will like go up faster and then after after you unlock a uh, mana run your second skill that you unlock with mana is um climbing which is this right here to train your climbing what you want to do is just climb <laughs> that's literally how you train your climbing to train your climbing you literally just climb places just keep climbing over and over like just go to a wall or something and just climb wait for it to run out and then just hop off but yeah that's how you train your climbing it's gonna take you a while to unlock these and to train your climbing it's gonna take you a while unless you know a certain method but i'm not gonna say that in this video but training your climbing is annoying as heck and after that after you unlock uh climbing what you're gonna lock next is mana rolling, which is this. It helps you when you're fighting. This is mana rolling right here. And those are all the three things that you can unlock with mana in this game. But don't forget to train your mana. You just hold G, let it go up, and then let it go down. Another way you can unlock your mana as well is by fighting with your like fist. Like when you first spawn into the rogue lineage, you're gonna be a fresh spawn. You just like run up to people and just start punching them until you unlock your mana bar. It's gonna take you a while, but yeah. Like this. Like you just, just just keep punching people and knocking people down and stuff, and eventually you unlock your mana. That's how you unlock mana, and that's how you use mana. Alright, okay. Now we're going to talk about factions. This is where... This is one thing you want to do when you first enter Rogue Lineage. When you first, like, join the game and stuff. What you're going to want to do is pick your faction. Either Chaotic or Orderly. Those are the two factions in this game. Chaotic is a faction that kills people and, like... When you like down someone, you press B on the body, that kills them. That's what gripping is. It, like kills people. Orderly is a faction that doesn't kill people. They jail people to get orderly. And cha being chaotic and being orderly is important because that determines what class you're going. Certain classes you can't do with like, let's say you're an, you're like a monk. If you're trying to go monk or something, you can't be a chaotic monk. I mean, you can, but you won't be able to unlock monk if you're chaotic. All right, so my character right here, I'm a chaotic greatsword user. I'm an ultra class greatsword. This is chaotic. To get a uh, greatsword, you have to be chaotic. You have to like kill people and grip people and stuff. That's what being chaotic is with greatsword. Greatsword, you can. There's no such thing as an orderly greatsword class, but yeah, Sidronite, what I, the class I was before, uh, that's an orderly class. You're not you're not supposed to kill people with that class. If you're going Sidronite, you don't kill people. What you do is you pick them up with like the v, v you press v to pick them up and then you take them to the jail cell and jail them like you get jail missions i'm gonna show you in a second but this right here this is a 
this is a sanctuary this is a barrier this is uh i don't know which sanctuary this one is i think this is southern sanctuary i don't know which sanctuary this is but this right here this is a uh orderly gate i can't enter this since i'm chaotic i'm a chaotic person so i can't enter this if you don't know if you're orderly or chaotic because one you grip people if you grip people you're obviously chaotic but yeah this right here is a gate i'm not allowed to enter this this is what happens when a chaotic person enters this gate you just get flung back that's central sanctuary by the way because it just said at the top but yeah i'm not allowed to enter that because i'm a chaotic player i'm going to show you how to get a uh, chaotic and orderly right now hold on all right um <clears throat> it both just logged on me okay never mind i can't use them as an example Let me use this dude as an example. This is what it means to be chaotic in this game. It's gonna kill this dude real quick. All right, so this dude right here, uh, to become chaotic in this game, what you do is you just grip them like this. That dude got wiped. Whatever. But yeah, that's how you become chaotic in this game. It's pretty obvious, simple enough. Just grip people over and over, and then you become chaotic. Um. Let me show you how to become orderly. <laughs> Alright, this is how you become orderly if you're going orderly classes. It's right here. You go go to the bounty officer, tell him you're looking for a job. He's gonna tell you a target, and then you go to them and jail them. I have goofy Doctor Who 999. So basically, what I'd do is I'd go to the person, I'd find them. Wait, he said Royal Woods, didn't he? I've seen royal woods so basically i'd go to royal woods i'd knock down planto helio and then i'd bring him all the way back here and jail him i talked to him again and jail him but the thing about being orderly is that it takes forever that's why a lot of people don't like being orderly in this game that's why you're gonna see a lot of chaotic people that just kill but yeah if you want to be an orderly class like monk or sidronite or orderly mage or something that's what you're gonna have to do <laughs> it's kind of stressful but not all classes are that dependent on being orderly like monk you don't really have to be that much orderly but yeah all right real quick let me show you where the uh, chaotic missions are this is where you get chaotic missions if you're going chaotic classes like great sword or necromancer or something hold on let me show you mm, right here this is the Vis vincent speak easy you can't enter this door if you're not chaotic, so don't even try if you're not. This is Vincent Speakeasy. You talk to this dude, say I'm looking for a job, he's gonna give you a target and you go kill that person. Fungi, which is Lolly Canna, you'll be paid for effort. Sometimes you won't save the area because uh this means they're out of like some safe zone area or something. I, I can't remember what it means, but sometimes he doesn't tell the target. Just just keep doing this, give up. Until he gives you a different person. For some reason, I can't get any other person because it appears Fungi is the only orderly person in this server. So, yeah. But doing these missions aren't very, like, mandatory. Because I didn't do any of these missions when I was going getting my Ultra Great Sword or my Great Sword class. Because uh, it's kind of annoying coming back here getting these missions all the way over and over. But doing these missions give a lot of money. Be, be uh, worried that they give a lot of money. This mission gives, like, 50 or 30 if you go kill that person. And then you come back to him and get your money, but yeah. Don't forget that. Don't forget that if you're uh, be go going an orderly class, you have to sit there and guard the jail because some people can come there, come to the jail cell at the orderly uh, mission place and open the jail for their t for their friend to escape. But if they and if they escape, if they do escape, you're not gonna get that much money. So be uh, mindful of that. That's what I'm telling you. If you wanna get like super skills and stuff easily i'd go chaotic but that's just me i don't like orderly classes anymore They're just, it's just so annoying jailing people it's just not fun but yeah that's how you go orderly and chaotic classes all right now we're gonna talk about classes okay classes in this game there's a lot of classes i can't list everything off the top of my head but i'm just gonna list some of them there's what the Okay, whatever. There's Sidronite, Orderly Mage, Necromancer, Greatsword, Akuma, Monk, Spear Bearer, Assassin, Spy. Oh, uh, I can't list every class off the top of my head. But I can't remember all of them, but there's a lot of classes in this game. 
the classes some these classes depend on orderly or going chaotic or orderly Scissor Knight's an orderly class orderly mage is an orderly class of course necromancer is an orderly class great swords an orderly class i mean no no great swords is, <laughs> great swords is a chaotic class akuma is a chaotic class monk is an orderly class spear bearer is i don't know which one spear bearer is but i don't know who cares assassin assassin's a chaotic class spy is a i don't know which one spy is and i don't think it even i don't, I don't know I don't know. Not all classes need orderly or chaotic, if I'm correct. I can't remember. But yeah. If you're going monk or akuma, do not buy a sword or do not buy a dagger or any of that. Do not buy a spear if you're going monk or, or akuma. What you want to do is you want to go to Orisfall and buy these. These are these are uh, gauntlets that you can use for your to increase your little uh, your punching damage. They're in the back of Orisfall, so yeah, don't forget that. But if you're going a Scissor Knight, what you want to do is you want to buy a sword and you want to use the sword to farm EXP. You want to collect a lot of sword EXP and then go to the um, go to the, the the sword trainer and buy sword skills. The sword trainer is at the at Vincent Speakeasy upstairs. I'm gonna show you in a second. But yeah, if you want to be a necromancer or a mage or something, what you want to do is you want to come to Orisfall and buy a tome. Let me show you this tome right here. Let me drop this dude. I don't even know why I'm carrying him. Uh, it's right in the back right here. If I'm correct, this dude gives you a tome. Need any help? Uh, hey buddy, I'll trade you this book for 10 silver. I think, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure this dude is the guy that gives you a tome. And then when you, once you get the tome from him, what you want to do is you want to, we want to find a scroll and then you just take it out like this. And then you click it and then you'll be able to use that, that, uh, spell with the scroll. This dude's going to follow me around and knock him. I don't know why I hit that dude, but yeah. What you want to do is you want to use the scroll, and then you, uh, you then you just, I don't know, you train your, <laughs> you train your magic or something. I don't know how a orderly mage works and all that, because I've never been, I never been a mage or any of that before, or a necromancer. Only classes I've been in this game are Kuma, Sigil Knight, Great Sword, and I, I can't remember. I think Assassin. I don't know, but yeah, that's how those, that's how classes work in this game. Classes depend on if you're orderly or chaotic. Well not they don't comp they don't depend on it that much but some classes depend on if you're orderly or chaotic so let's say you're going scissor knight what you're going if you're going scissor knight you're going to need a lot of sword exp so basically you're going to have to slash a lot of people with your sword and get sword training what people do is that they, they uh get a scroom because scrooms can go underground and then they can just farm exp off of them that's what scrooms are really used for in this game to farm exp let's say you're going great sword what you want to do is use a sword until you have enough um sword uh exp and until you're chaotic enough from killing people and then you go uh unlock your your super class for great sword if you're going necromancer i don't know what to do for that I'm not, i don't know what to do for that but yeah if you're going spire assassin what you want to do is you want to use a dagger and get dagger exp and then you go to the dagger trainer i don't know where that is and then you uh unlock your dagger skills i'm not allowed to show you where these npcs are the super class npcs because He's gonna he's gonna literally change where they are if I show them. I can't. I'm not. I'm not allowed to show where they are. If I show where they are, he will literally switch where the NPCs are, and it's just gonna and he's gonna make it hard. It's just gonna mess everyone up. I'm not allowed to show that stuff. All right. Another thing you want to do when you first get into this game is farming cash, because everything in this game costs money. Swords, armor, weapon, all, all weapons, all of that cost money. As you can see, these are mage clothes. They're not really that good. If I were a mage, I wouldn't really buy them. What they do is that they, I think they let you charge mana faster. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I, I wouldn't buy these if I were you. What you want to do is once you farm money, come in here. This is where you buy a sword, a sentinel. Make sure you pick up trinkets and stuff. But yeah, these are armors that you can buy. Uh, Outriders outfit. Don't even worry about this outfit right here. This outfit right here. What you want to buy is this outfit when you're first starting the game. If you're a Sigil Knight or something, buy the Lord's outfit. This this outfit right here gives the most defense. It costs 60 silver. These outfits in here, this is the Mage's outfit. I wouldn't really buy those, but yeah. These are the Assassin outfits right here. Best one is this one. This one costs more, of course. 45 silver. And... Just, just follow me. <laughs> Alright, we're like, okay. This dagger right here don't buy those two daggers i mean you can if you're if you're farming training what you want to do is buy this bronze dagger because this does the least damage so that when you're training off a of scroom or something you can just buy this for eight silver 
I mean, you can just, uh, you won't do that much damage to them, but you're going to get a lot of training. This is a Mithra dagger. This is the last dagger you want to buy if you're an assassin. That's the best dagger for assassin. And don't forget that after you farm trinkets, I'm going to show you a trinket around in a second. You come back here, you press sell in bulk, and then you sell your ingredients or your trinkets for money. 86 silver, that's worth it. Or you can sell your scrolls if you find a scroll. Scrolls are like at trinket spots and they're randomly placed across the map. You can appraise this and then you can get like 10 silver if you sell your scrolls. I don't use magic, so I don't need scrolls. So yeah, I'm going to sell these. Yeah, that's how you make some quick cash, but all right. Now I'm going to show you a little trinket route. Trinkets are used to sell and you get money with them. All right, this is a trinket route. Um, if the, if the trinkets are not there in your server, I, I recommend just joining a new server. A trinket spawns right here. A trinket spawns right up there. You might need climbing to get that one though, but it spawns right on top of there. Um, oh yeah, this place is the Sea of Dust, of course. You should know what this place is. We're gonna go over here. Some trinkets spawn over there, but the dragon's over there, so you might wanna watch out for that if you're gonna try and go get the trinkets over there. And the sanctuary down there, there's trinkets in there. But you can't go in there unless you're orderly, so keep that in mind. Um, There's trinkets at Vincent Speakeasy, but you can't enter there unless you're chaotic. Alright, there's trinkets over here. I'm about to show you the, the spawns. There's a trinket right there sometimes, I think. There's a trinket right here. There's a trinket right here. Someone already took all these. Someone looted all these. There's a trinket spawn right here. Someone's looted all these, but if you just go through here in this direction, you're going to find trinkets. There's a trinket right there, too. This trink oh, this is a scroll. It's not even a trinket. Ignis. It's the flamethrower thingy. Like the flame uh, spell. Uh, you can also find scrolls and artifacts. Don't forget that artifacts, they're, uh, they're pretty broken. <laughs> um, if you find an artifact, depending on what artifact it is, you should go to the disco and sell it. If the artifact is like something like Phoenix Feather, I'd use that if I were you, but if you don't want the artifact, don't forget to like go to the Discord and just sell it in there. There's uh, trinkets in here. I'm about to show you them right here. There's a, you can see that goblet right there. That's a trinket. But those sell for one. There's usually a trinket right here. Alright, hold on. Oops. Oh, let me just go around. You might need climbing for this, but if you don't have climbing, just jump and try and get up through there. There's a goblet right here. So tr anything can spawn up here, but yeah. There's a trinket spawn. Like There's like one right here, one right here, and one right there, if I'm correct. And one on this table. These are clearly not spawned since someone already took them all, but yeah. You can't enter here unless you're chaotic, so don't, don't forget that. There's a trinket right here. Trinket right here. And after that, let's just get out of here. The trinket can spawn right under there. The trinket can spawn right here. The trinket can spawn right there. And right there, there's a lot of trinket spawns in this game. There's trinkets over there, and like, there's like, I recommend when you go to places, just look in corners and you can easily find trinkets, and then you go sell them, and then you can get some money easily. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just be the good old fashioned way kill people. <laughs> you can either kill people, or you can just do the orderly missions or the chaotic missions from the, from the NPCs that give you them. I recommend, um, I didn't really trinket up much. When I got my Abyss Walker, uh, mostly I just I just killed people. <laughs> I literally just killed people and got their wallets. And on top of that, I had money from my other account that I gave the Fino to hold for me. But yeah, don't forget there's trinkets everywhere. Like just look in corners and you can easily find trinkets. There's literally a trinket spawn right there. Like it's all over the place. Just look, just see if you see anything sparkling, just pick it up and then go sell it. Then you can easily get some money. Trinket spawn right there too, but yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna give you some tips that can help you, uh, and not not really tips, but I'm gonna tell you some stuff. 
super, don't forget that you can't get your ultra class until you have everything of your super class. Until you have everything of your super class, you cannot get anything of your ultra class yet. And a lot, I get this question a lot. When should you go to the tundra? Uh, don't forget that you need to play this game with a friends. Like friends are very important for this game. You want to play. You want to play with friends in this game. It's not a game where you can like solo. I mean, you can if you want, but you're gonna die a lot <laughs> like i recommend bringing like at least one friend with you everywhere you go well, like not everywhere you go but like just playing this game with one friend in your server if you don't you will die a lot by the way this is the crypt uh trinket spawn in there but yeah and oh yeah don't forget you can uh, join houses houses are very important in this game as you can see this is like calathus house caller house like there's a lot of houses in this game you can just just join a house or either go make a house to uh, make a house you need 20 days required and you just go in there and talk to the npc that's in there and then you can make a house i hope i went over a lot of stuff i'm pretty sure i got i know i got a lot of questions on that little uh community thing i posted yesterday like i posted a little community forum thingy i said that uh comment some questions i'm gonna answer them in the video tomorrow but this video is already getting too long i'm gonna answer all those questions in probably like a separate separate video because on that list, I got like 72 questions. That That's too long for me to read in this video. So I'm just going to go over that in a whole separate uh, video. So, yeah. If this video helped you at all, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And leave a comment down below. If I missed anything or have any questions, I might respond to a lot. Well, I already know I'm going to respond to a lot. So if you have any questions of anything that I didn't answer, other than like, where is this NPC or something, uh... Go ahead and comment that down below. I'm gonna be replying. I'm gonna be replying to a lot of comments. But yeah, I hope I answered a lot of you guys' questions. Make sure you unlock your mana, get some armor, get your weapons, and like get everything started. Pick your super class, get all that done, and then play the game. Like, don't forget to train your mana. Training your mana and climbing is very important because climbing can help you escape a lot of situations. But yeah, hope I answered a lot of you guys' questions in this video. I'll see you guys later.